So this is an A24 movie and you pretty much know what to expect from one of those. Except you don't really ever know what to expect from one of those. You know it's gonna be a smaller indie movie and usually of a slightly more artistic and maybe experimental sort. Often not completely out there but generally not your average mainstream cookie cutter stuff either. And yeah that vague description pretty much hit the nail on the head for this one too. But you know how movies are often based on novels or if it's a real events thing it can also be based on an article. Well we now live in a world where a movie can also be based on tweets as well. Because in the writing credits for this one it literally says based on tweets by a Sia King. So that's a thing apparently, but why would you base a movie on a bunch of tweets? Well, because apparently this person recounted her story step by step in a series of tweets back in 2015. How this ever came to anyone's attention I don't know, but uh, here we are nonetheless. And I will say that this is indeed not the worst story I've ever heard. Uh, it's actually kind of wild. And had I experienced it, I'd want to tell this to anyone who would listen to. But anyway, we begin with this character of Sola, who is a waiter at a restaurant. She then runs into a stripper, they hit it off instantly, and she gets invited on a trip to Florida. This is where things get interesting, because it doesn't take long before everything goes off the rails. And yeah, I don't really want to get into further details about the plot here, but let's just say some unscrupulous characters are involved and uh, <laughs> we get into some interesting situations. And as I said, it's a good story, worth telling, and it's one of these stories that, uh, well, I feel like needed a slightly different approach to make it a bit more gripping and entertaining. Because while I wouldn't call this boring, I did like it well enough. I still thought the source material, the core story, was better than the end product. And when it comes to the filmmaking in general, I wasn't the biggest fan either. I mean, I was immediately reminded of the movie Tangerine, which was pretty good. Especially considering it was shot for very little money on a couple of iPhones. And yeah, that one took almost a documentary style approach and I liked the end product. This one though, while not a huge production, still had several millions behind it. But I don't think they really put those resources to great use, to be honest. Because it does feel like a lower budget film than that, and I think that was intentional. However, if you want to make your film look low budget, why not do it for real? This kind of imitation of the real thing just comes across as a bit of an odd choice to me. And yeah, I just didn't love the overall visual style of the movie either, to be honest. It just had this very, very grainy quality to the image, especially in low light situations. And the picture just looks very washed out and almost desaturated. Now, with that being said, I did like some of the creative edits they did. I also liked all of the performances, and I pretty much thought everyone was very well cast here. I mean, Taylor Page, who plays Sola herself, was probably the most bland of them all. She didn't really do much to stand out and wasn't as colorful as the other characters. But I especially liked Coleman Domingo as X. He was fantastic. I also liked Riley Keough. And even Nicholas Braun was perfectly cast. A bit of an annoying character, but sometimes funny. And... Uh, just perfectly cast in this role. So yeah, I liked a number of things about this and found it to be fine overall. But I do think in the right hands this story could have made for an even better and just more entertaining and fun movie. So I think all things considered I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a solid 6. But would I recommend it? Uh, I don't think it's a must see but for fans of A24 movies it's probably worth a watch. Or you could just skip it too, after all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic.